guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Gia. You can subscribe here below so you can see what I post every Friday. So this week's video is not something that I typically post. It's not my typical content that's all warm-hearted and funny and all that. This week, I really wanted to bring on the subject of what happened last week, February 14, 2018 at the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. This video, I don't really know what I'm making it right now. I feel like this is just gonna be one big rant and all that, so I guess I'll try to break it into a few parts to make it easier and best to understand. One of my friends actually attends this school and she was there when it happened. So this situation kind of gets a little more close to home for me, knowing that one of my friends was there. I feel like this whole thing is just getting way out of hand. So there's been 18 mass shootings in the United States this year alone. We're in February 2018, there's been 18 shootings in only two months. That's unacceptable. You could blame whoever you want, you can blame the gun, you can blame the shooter, you can blame the government. It doesn't really matter who you blame. But we all need to realize that there needs to be a change. And it just really bothers me because I feel like as a society, we've become so used to shootings happening that we don't realize how big of a problem it is until now. Like, I'm glad, I'm, I really am glad that we're finally putting our feet down and saying, this is a problem, this needs to stop, we need to fix this, we need to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. And I really like that... This is all coming from people my age, like people in high school and college that are putting their thoughts out there saying that this needs to change. They're the ones out there doing stuff and making a difference so that this doesn't happen ever again. And like, I just really respect people that are out there doing the marches, doing the protests, all the interviews, all that. Like, I really appreciate people doing that. Like, I really wish I could go out, you know, and like protest against this because this is something I feel really strongly about. But unfortunately, I'm like not in the position to be able to for a lot of different reasons. But this whole situation just makes me so angry because when I watch the videos of the kids that posted on their Snapchats watching this all happen and seeing what they had to see right in front of them, it just makes me so mad and so upset that someone had to go through that. And not just someone, a whole school, that they had to go through that and that this happens repeatedly all the time and people just ignore it. I feel like... We just go through a massive cycle where it's like a mass shooting happens and then people and officials tweet out or say their condolences and prayers and then they talk about making a change and then the change doesn't happen and then it dies down. And then another shooting happens and then it continues. The whole cycle just continues and it goes again. And I feel like with this one, it's really different. If you guys have been seeing on the news, there's been all these protests, all these things that are happening. And there's even a, a giant march that they're going to do in like big cities that's going to happen nationwide. Really, we just need a change. Like, I feel like this whole video is just me saying that there needs to be a change. But like, there really does need to be a change. And... I feel like that's starting with stricter gun laws, which is going to bring me on to my next point. I don't want to go too much on this. I just want to be like very brief and just say my thoughts on it and be done because I know I'll probably get attacked for a lot of this. But I just want to say my quick thoughts about it. I feel like this would not have happened if the shooter, Nicholas Cruz, did not have access to a gun. So in the articles that I've read, which is a lot, apparently he is autistic to some degree and also has a history of mental health issues as well as being an orphan and i guess those have contributed to what he did for some reason which i personally don't think really have that much of an impact on the decision that he made which was to shoot up a school it said that he was kind of an outcast he didn't really have enough friends or really do anything he was kind of seen as like the weird kid you know and i feel like this could have been avoided because okay some background information a couple months ago trump the president i can't believe i'm saying that i really can't believe i'm calling him that because i really don't claim him at all i never have i never will but trump basically 
he revokes a law that was already previously passed with Obama. To make it easily explainable, the law basically made it more difficult for people with severe mental illness to be able to purchase guns and other weapons. And Trump got rid of that. So it became easier for people with mental health issues to purchase guns and other deadly weapons, which I believe is how Nicholas was able to get his hands on an AR-15, which is also the same gun that was used in all the other shootings this year, and was able to do that attack. If that law was not dismantled, would he have been able to do what he did? I feel like no, because how else would he have been able to get that gun if they said throughout the check that no, you're not physically capable of having this gun, you're not mentally stable to have this gun. Not to mention that apparently the FBI knew about Nicholas and what he was planning on doing or what he was capable of doing or something like that because there were pictures I had seen, I think they've, they've been taken down by now. It was a screenshot of his two Instagram accounts that he had and on the accounts there were pictures of like animals that he had killed and all these weapons and all that. And then there was also a comment that he left on a YouTube video saying that he was going to be a professional school shooter, something like that. I, I have the comment somewhere, let me put it right here. So yeah, that's really crazy that they had all this information on him and it was even sent to the FBI, but they didn't do anything about it to stop it in advance. I think that's what's really messed up and that this could have avoided a lot of what happened and maybe even the whole thing. I'm going to move on from him and I'm going to talk about guns. Okay, I'm going to keep this really short because I know I'm going to have a lot of people talking about like what the issue really is, whatever. So my personal belief is a mix of guns are the issue and also the people who are getting the guns is the issue. I'm a little bit of both. Mine is behind the shooter and the thing they used to shoot. So I'm going to start with the gun side. Personally, I don't think that it is required or that it should be legal for someone to have access to an AR-15, something of that big degree, I guess I could say, something that can do that much destruction, because I believe these shoot around like 45 rounds a minute, something like that, I could be wrong. Like it's those guns that you see in movies that they could just keep like shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting and it's like they never run out of ammo. It's like one of those guns, okay? Is it really necessary for people Normal, everyday people to have access to those? I think no. I think it's dangerous. And also because all of the shootings that have happened this year have been because of that gun. Isn't it saying kind of like a sign that maybe we should get rid of them and not make them accessible to the public? That's what I'm saying on it. I just feel like it should be much harder to get guns. So we should have better gun restrictions. So it should be a lot harder to get a gun. We need to get through more background checks, more history checks of a person, you know? Because when you think about it, like for example, when you go and you get a car or whatever, when you get a car, you need to take a test. You need to take a written test, a driver's test. They check who you are with two forms of ID. They need you to... They need to make sure that you're able to see properly. They do your eyesight testing. They do all this, make sure you know knowledge about about um, what a car does, how to drive it and all that, what to do. They do all that and then they pass you or they fail you. And I feel like we don't do enough of that with guns. I feel like it's an easy pass because it is a right that we have in the United States. It's the second amendment, the right to bear arms. And I feel like because it is a written right in the constitution, people feel like they're obligated to get it no matter what, which I think isn't the case just because you have the right doesn't mean you are mentally stable or capable of obtaining one or having one and that's my thought on that. Who do I think is at fault? The shooter or the weapon? I do think it's both. I think there is ways to responsibly have a gun which is like if you use it in terms of self-defense like if someone comes into your house and attempts to rob you or harm you or whatever then I think it is acceptable to use it and kind of like, I guess, you know, like, hurt the robber but not kill them, you know, just to, like, defend yourself, you know? But that's usually a pistol. No one pulls out a an AK-47 or an AR-15 out of their, you know, nightstand and uses that, you know? 
and then, you know, that's the only instance I could find where it'd be helpful. Where I don't see it is hunting, personally. Okay, I know hunting's legal. I just never really liked hunting. I never really liked the thought of people killing another thing, or I should say animal or life. I've never seen it as a good thing. People that just do hunting for fun, that's my thing. If you hunt for food, I guess that's one thing, but if you hunt just for fun, that's where, like, in my head, I'm like, you're kind of fucked up. If you kill something just because you get amusement or you just feel good about it, I feel like that's something really messed up and you must have, like, a problem or something. And there's gonna be that one yeehaw cousin loving person in the comments or something coming at me for this video saying that. And they're gonna come at me and I'm just gonna be like, you're a little weird if you like killing animals for fun. That's a little fucked up. So I don't care. I'm not taking that back because I mean what I mean. So that's it, you guys. Um, I really appreciate it if you stuck out through the whole rant and listened to what I had to say. I'd really appreciate it if I heard your input in the comments. Just don't make it offensive. I'd like to talk about it like mature people. So if you have any thoughts or want to say your take on it in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. And I'd like to read what you guys have to say. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already so you can see videos that I make in the future. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you next week. Peace out.